If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, let A and B be the following matrices. Note that A is row equivalent to B. Find bases for the column space of A and the null space of A. So to find a basis for the column space of A, all we have to do is find the pivot columns of A. And luckily for us, B, which is row equivalent to A, is in echelon form. So it's easy to find the pivot columns. So the column space of A is the span of its pivot columns. And the pivot columns form a linearly independent set. So if you have a spanning set that's linearly independent, you have yourself a basis. So if we weren't given B, we would have to first row reduce A into echelon form to find its pivot columns. And so now we want to find a basis for the null space of A. So what we'll do is we'll reduce our matrix into reduced row echelon form. And when we do that, each row corresponds to an equation. So the first row is x1 plus 2x2 plus 4x4 equals 0. The next row is x3 minus 1.4x4 equals 0. And the last row is x5 equals 0. And we'll put our solution into parametric vector form. And we could break up x here in terms of the free variables. So it's x2 times minus 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, plus x4 times the vector minus 4, 0, 1.4, 1. And those two vectors are a basis for null A. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.